February 11th. Today's scripture. Then I was constantly at his side. I was filled with delight day after day, rejoicing always in his presence, rejoicing in his whole world, and delighting in mankind. Proverbs 8, verses 30 and 31, the New International Version. Today's guide. When preparing for today, think about the following. Reflecting on God's love. Food for thought. It's no secret that love is a powerful emotion. But what makes it so special? Well, the answer lies in today's scripture. Because he loved us first and continually encourages, strengthens, and shows us how to love as he loves us. We can strive to love a little more deeply, wisely, and humbly to experience the joys of true love. However, there are times when grief and pain can cloud our ability to love. When we experience grief and loss, it is difficult to see the beauty of true love that surround us. But even in those trying times, God's love remains with us. He sees us through grief and pain and helps us find the love that can help us heal. It's in these times of grief and pain that we need to remember the power of Jesus' love and how he is always with us, providing strength, comfort, and a reminder that it's still possible to experience true love even in our darkest moments. Are you struggling with showing God's love? Take a few moments to reflect on the love He has for you and how it can help you break through your grief. How can you use that love to encourage others around you? How can you lift up someone else with kindness and understanding when they are struggling? gratitude. Today, take some time to thank God for his unfailing love and for the strength it gives you to push through even the toughest times. Do you find it difficult to find gratitude for God's love in the midst of your pain? If you're struggling to be grateful, try reminding yourself of someone who selflessly showed up when you needed them. How did that impact your life? Today's prayer. Lord, we are able to love because you loved us first. You are continually at our side, encouraging, strengthening, and showing us the way to love as you loved us. Thank you. Amen.